What's up guys? So this is the video that we are going to set up our PPE winners on WC. Well, we in the last video, we talked about what I'm gonna do, which is slightly different than normal, which is I'm just gonna put three designs inside one each of the ad sets and we're gonna set that up. So here is basically a walkthrough step-by-step -step process of how you do that. So this might be a boring video because we've already covered this in a previous video, how to set up WC, but this is, you know, just Again, I'm gonna do it so you can just see and make sure that you know you're familiar with how to set up WC campaigns. So what we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is just click on create campaign and we are gonna call this WC Farmer. And uh, we have three designs. So I'm gonna put there are three designs in there. Three designs. WC Farmer, three designs, split test, okay. And then we're gonna set up, where is it, conversions, and we're just gonna name one ad set here, it doesn't matter, and we're gonna do one ad here. Okay, so, oh, you know what, I forgot, I'll have to pause the video and come back, but uh, we can continue. So, we're gonna create our new campaign inside the account, and wait for that to load. Okay, so we got this. And we're just gonna close this right now. And right now, this thing is going to give me a warning. So I'm gonna click on there. And the first thing I wanna do, I have my three PPE ones. So I'm just gonna click on one of them here. And you're gonna see the ad sets of these. So I'm just gonna go through and copy over the, the targeting. Let's see, let's see. If, oh, look at that, this thing is so not friendly. No activity. So sometimes you can pull out the targeting in here. Other times you can't. I don't know why. So this is ad set one, and what I'm gonna do is just copy all the stuff. And there's this website I like to use, it's called DLimco, DLimco. All it's gonna do is take a list and make it into column, or see like this, and then it will just put, you know, with commas. So that what that's gonna do is allow me to do our, let's, so let's make sure, we got purchase selected. Let's set this up at five bucks. Let's set this up. So it's after 12 right now. So I'm just gonna leave it on 12. It's at one o'clock, but I'm still gonna set this at 6 a.m. No custom audiences, United States, get rid of there. Okay, women only, 18 to 65. We're gonna put our targeting here. This is ad set one targeting. Edit placements, mobile only, instant articles. Get rid of all this stuff. All where you lose money. So you just have mobile newsfeed only. Don't worry about the warning. Don't worry about any of this. Seven day and one click, no, seven day click, okay? So that's pretty much it for this ad set, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab my I'm gonna pop, well, yeah, close this, and then we're gonna go into, so remember the, the way we do it, we set up the ads first, then the ad sets, then the campaigns, so we always do it reverse order. But here, you can see, if I open this, I got no ad in here, so we do not wanna use the same ad on PPE, and there's a reason why, is because those PPE ads, all the images, the three images, we set up with the same URL for, to just make it faster. But now, we're gonna take three ads and we're gonna put under one ad set. So we need to remake those ads to have three separate links and we don't have that. So I have to make three new ads. If you were just choose one winner, you could just use that one that was on PPE and then redirect the URL to uh, the correct page and it would have been fine. But since we're setting up three, I gotta redo it. So let's existing post. And what I'm gonna do, get my images and I'll be back, okay? All right guys, so I'm back and I just got my images ready. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna create a post. And while I also got my links ready, so here's the farmer cow design and I made a link called one dash awesome farmer wallet phone case deal. The second one is mother clucker design. That was the two awesome, number two awesome farmer wallet design deal. And the moo cow, moo get out my hay one, that's three. Awesome, so this is my three links. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this because I just prepped the links. Now, the way that these links worked was the way I showed you before. We make the navigation redirects through the Shopify tool and I re I'm redirecting these, these friendly links I'm redirecting to, in this case, I'm redirecting to a funnel, which further in this course, we're gonna talk about setting up funnels and how to do that. So this is not sending people to a collection page. It's slightly different. And I'm gonna show you that here in one minute once I get these set up. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna copy this and head back over to the tool. Uh, it's gonna do a preview, probably something. Let's. So this was the Moo Cow. Okay, that, that design, but 
I want to pull in the photo post version because you never want to do a link post like it tries to do. It's not good. So do you want one here? Awesome farmer wallet phone case deal safe unpublished post next. Okay. So next we're going to never add a button. <laughs> okay. I know I keep telling you that, but seriously, never add a button. This is the wrong fan page. So we got to switch out the fan page. Oops. Now I got to redo that because that was the wrong fan page. You must select something, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm trying to, but you're so slow. Now we're gonna grab the image first. So yeah, always grab that image first. It seems to work better. And then paste my link. Okay, so now unsave, unpublish, and it should remove all the warnings. We're gonna duplicate, okay, duplicate. Ex same existing ad set, existing campaign. Okay, number of copies, one. We're gonna duplicate, and now, do you want one? This link, okay? This is our design number two. It's, um, so now I'm inside, okay? And here's the copy, and we're gonna add a plus. So what we do, we're doing is three, three ads inside one. So this is the mother clucker one. This one, save on published post. Let's see if this one gives me a warning. No. Might have to change to another uh, mock-up file, but I'm just gonna run it anyways. We'll see, we'll see what happens, I'm not sure. And so we're gonna duplicate again, and this time we got the moo cow. So we copy that one. So campaign, it keeps, see what it does? It keeps sending me back. I don't like to see everything. So that's why I go back one more. So here is the last design, cause what's gonna be interesting is even with the warnings, I'm gonna prove to you that this still is gonna work fine. It should work, okay. Save on published. One of them is gonna work, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so now we got the one ad set with the three ads inside, so now we can duplicate the ad set and we can call this number two. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab ad set number two. So all I have is two tabs open just so I can get ad set number two. So ad set one is here, ad set two is here. Now I'm just going to grab that targeting and drop it in here, copy. Move it over here, clear everything out, paste it here, get rid of one of the lines, move it over and copy this. What we're gonna have is what I wanna do is go back here, cause it's, I don't like to see everything, it drives me insane. So I click on the campaign, now I just see this, now I open just that campaign. So everything's still set up, and we're gonna get rid of this targeting right here. Okay, so we got this, that looks okay. Close this, we're gonna duplicate again. We just use number three, so here, this is technically number three. Close this, Angus and Cattle. This one I'm not gonna put in the tool. Well, I guess I'll put in the tool, it's fine. Just makes it a little bit easier. And duplicating, this is number three. Paste both here. Cool, so now we're going to duplicate again. This is number four. So let's grab that. Also, now what happened? This is not what I chose. Tractor, so we have tractor. We move that over here, duplicate. And we paste that. So that's weird, I duplicate, no, no targeting showed up. Whatever, so let me just double check. So whenever I see something weird, I just double check because it should have duplicated the targeting, but it didn't. Okay, it still looks okay. And um, now we're gonna duplicate again. And let's grab this targeting. Okay, so we got cattle, narrow farmer, okay. So let's do that, duplicating. There we go, so there's there's this guy in there. Cattle, suggestions, no, no, narrow. Farmers, so I don't use a lot of narrow, what do you call it, this called flex or intersect. I don't use a lot, I only use one. If you do again, narrow further and narrow further, first your audience is gonna get super small, and second, they're gonna charge you more, the Facebook will charge you more CPM, so I never do that, okay? One is the most I ever do. Just find the biggest audiences and narrow them. That's a little tip. Okay, so let's do one more duplicate, and let's choose this number five, which is actually number six. 
high. And let's do this last one. Okay, so combine harvester. Let's move over here. Duplication. And so let's just get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get put this stuff in there. Okay, so that's incorrect. See how I did that incorrect? We gotta we gotta move this into a comma format. And we're gonna put this like this. Okay, so this is all set up. I'm happy with this. So don't click on this, don't click on this, just press close. Now what I'm gonna do is go just double click on check these. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. If you click into one, there should be 18 ads. Should be 18 ads. There's 17. So, I don't know. Let's, let's add in a customized column. I'm curious, where's my missing ad? So we got name, campaign name. No, we want ad set name. And one, two, three, 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 one, two. So yeah, ad set one is missing. What design is it missing? It's very, very weird. So turn on preview. We're missing the cow one, so I'm gonna duplicate this ad. Farmer split test, ad set one, duplicate. Okay, so now we should put, now we have 18. Oh, not 100, 10,000 ads. So let's choose that one. It's this one right there. Awesome farmer deal, okay. Now we have 18, but let's double check. So here, six ad sets, three ads in each should be 18. 19 ads, oh my gosh. So something's something's weird here. Hold on. Okay, so this is a dupe. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one. Delete. So now we have 18. Okay, okay. 18 and we are ready to go. This is our ad sets set up correctly. Our ad, three ads in each. Five dollar budget. Now be okay, so one thing to note is that you have your three ads inside, right? Three ads, three ads, three ads, three ads. When the more ads that you put, the longer it will take to optimize. So if you have one ad inside here, you can make your decision with the $2 link clicks the next day you turn off and everything else you leave running. You can, you can still do that with three designs. It's just gonna be harder. So you might have to say over 250 or something, make it a little bit less. Like if there was just one ad, I could be super strict and maybe just say, okay, anything over a dollar I'm gonna turn off. And then just, you know, that way you can save more money. But uh, if you put two or three ads under each, definitely gotta do that $2 mark or 250 mark because it's gonna take a while. You know, that it's gonna take three days for Facebook to figure out which ad is the best in each ad set. So definitely don't turn off too early. I would let it run. I would definitely let it run an extra day to just before you even turn off any ads. So it costs a little bit more money when you put more ads, but you can normally find a better a better combination. So we're gonna we're gonna show you that here. I'm gonna set this up and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna publish this review one campaign, 18 ads publish. And um, what I was gonna show you is those links, those links that I created for these ads, they're going to a page that looks like this. Actually, it's a page that looks like this. So that is a redirect to a click funnel page and this becomes a funnel. So they say, yes, I want 50% off, which is not really 50% off, but whatever. <laughs> it's 40 and then we go down to um, 24. So you click on this and they go to a page that looks like this. It'll pull up this, and this is all card hook. Well, this is click funnel with, this is card hook embed, and this is card hook embed, and this works really well. So then you add to cart, and uh, it'll load up the card hook checkout. So which is really fast, it's a one page. It's really, really cool. So this helps your conversion having a one page checkout. So this is kind of what I do. So the, the general idea, and I'm gonna make a video about this next is we send you know a lead product to a collection page you figure out what's working what products on that collection page sell and then after your lead product dies or slows down or whatever then you launch product funnels product specific funnels for any of the products that actually sold in that collection 
For example, I ran a design for a horse wallet case, right? And I figured out, you know what? The horse people are buying my boots. I had boots through the Pillow Profits app. They're buying boots like crazy. So then what I did, I made a product funnel for those boots, pulled it out of the pro, pulled it out of the collection, made a specific product funnel. And then I sold a lot more boots specifically because I targeted the boots. And then it was just a funnel for boots. And it works like that. So this is, uh, and then after this checkout, there's upsells. I'm gonna show you that during the during the um, the funnel part of this course, um, we're, which we're getting to. So this is basically, I'll come back in another video. We're gonna show you the numbers and see if we made any sales of this, of any of these three designs. But that's basically what we got going is we got, um, we have these, these three designs on WC and we're gonna see what happens. Are we gonna make any sales? So I will see you in the next video with, with some results in a day or two.